The payments totaling 878,650 US dollars and 16 million Sri Lankan rupees relate specifically to claims lodged by the Marine Environment Protection Authority of Sri Lanka had been made by Express Feeders, form operators of the container ship Express Pearl through the vessel owners PNI insurers. The Attorney General's department said that the 878,650 US dollar payment has already been deposited to the account of the Treasury. The report states that the payment of 16 million Sri Lankan rupees will be received soon. What is this payment? This was the explanation given by the former chairman of the Marine Environment Protection Authority. This amount of 878,000 US dollars is the amount of money spent from February last year to August for beach cleanup operations. It is not compensation for the damage caused by the incident. The Attorney General's department said that the compensation has been demanded for the damage caused to Sri Lankan fishermen. The Attorney General's department said that the insurers of Express Pearl are considering this. They are speaking about this same amount of money and we as civilians are wondering as to if they are trying to hoodwink the people. We are of the opinion that even the cleanup operations were not conducted properly. There is a serious issue about compensation being provided in installments. Is there any consensus about the full compensation? How much is that full amount? What sort of damage is this compensation provided for? What sectors will be receiving them? Officials should inform the general public about these matters. I believe that these statements are made to simply hoodwink the people. Was the damage that was caused to Sri Lanka assessed? Or was that too a farce? This is what the former chairman of the Marine Environment Protection Authority had to say. This could be the biggest economic fraud committed in Sri Lanka yet because at the time I was leaving MIPA, we gave an interim report to the Attorney General's Department and the Minister of Justice assessing the damage caused to the environment at 6.4 billion US dollars. This 6.4 billion US dollars assessment was presented in the second interim report. If a third report is prepared, it will be above 10 billion US dollars. 10 billion US dollars or even 6.4 billion US dollars is the amount of money that we should receive for the damage caused to our environment. If we are not receiving this sum of money, there is a serious question as to why action to recover damages were not filed in Sri Lanka. I am of the opinion that it is wrong to have filed action in Singapore as there is a ceiling on the amount of damage that we can claim. Do you remember? It's been over two years since the Express Pearl ship sunk in the sea of Sri Lanka. The ship was carrying 1,486 containers of chemicals and cosmetic products and 25 tons of nitric acid when it went up in flames and sunk in the sea of Sri Lanka. The biggest damage to the environment was done by the plastic nurdles that were on board the ship. Following this catastrophic event, Hundreds of marine creatures, including approximately 200 turtles, washed ashore. The damage caused to the marine life in the Sea of Sri Lanka, including whales and turtles, is unfathomable. The fisheries industry was stalled and fishing communities in Sri Lanka suffered. Even today, we are facing the adverse effects of the Express Pearl disaster. Why were officials so lackluster and delayed in issuing the process of securing compensation for this massive environmental disaster? The damage was not caused to anyone's private property. It was our sea, the Sea of Sri Lanka, that was affected. If such a devastating environmental catastrophe took place in any other country, they would have claimed compensation in billions of dollars. There have been instances in the past where compensation had paid in billions of US dollars for damages caused to environmental systems far less than the damage caused in the Express Pearl disaster. However, officials continuously delayed initiating the action to claim compensation for this disaster. Why is that? When will we receive proper compensation for the damage done to the sea of Sri Lanka? The people are watching. Convener of the People's Tomorrow Organization, Attorney Manoj Lana Kara, expressed these views regarding enforcing the law in Sri Lanka.
We saw that MP Ali Sabri Rahim was nabbed by the customs trying to bring in gold. After paying a small fine, he was released and he attended the parliament session on the same day. The most devastating maritime pollution that happened in our country because of the Express Pearl disaster. Action to recover damages for this was only filed when it was almost two years after the incident. Pandora Papers and Panama Papers are always being discussed. Audit reports reveal that the trillions of loans taken by this country have not even been included in the accounts. They do not even have the responsibility to formulate laws in the country to seize the stolen trillions that were looted by them. Instead, bills are brought to silence the citizens, the mass media and social media. This government has no intention to recover the money lost by this country and to use that to settle the debts of this country. They only want to solve their problems everywhere. They are defending thieves and providing them with the facilities to steal. This constitution has been amended 22 times since it was introduced in 1978. According to our reading, it was only amended once or twice for the benefit of the people. Every other amendment brought to the constitution was done to secure power or further some political aspiration of these politicians.